Hello friend, welcome you again. This is my second part of the tutorial series figure preparation in Adobe Illustrator. And today I'm going to show you that how we can import and manage the figure and other data from different sources like PDF, Microsoft PowerPoint, Word, Excel, GraphPad Print and many other sources. So let's start. Here I'm going to open new document. Click here new file, rename your document, figure 1.2. So I'm not going to give you information about the document size and other thing because I have already provided the information in my first part of this tutorial. So you can go through this and get more information about the document size. So here I'm just going to make a new document, width and height 18 and 12 centimeter, scale centimeter, color RGB and raster effect 300. Click here on the create. First thing I suggest you click here on the window, workspace, reset your workspace. I'm using the essential classic and the other thing I'm going to add the ruler, control R using the shortcut and you can also get the more information about the shortcut. If you click here on the edit keyboard shortcut, there are a lot of shortcut about the illustrator. You can get information from here and if you click here export, you can save in the text file format and you can open the shortcut you can see there are many shortcuts available if you want to get information about shortcut you can get information from here so first i am going to show you how we can import the data from the pdf file and manage in adobe illustrator so the good thing is we can open the pdf file in the illustrator so i'm going to open the pdf file I'm using the control zero command to fit in this window and if you select all the data using the control a command and copy control c paste in your figure document using the control v command i'm doing the zoom out using the alt and mouse wheel you can see the size of figure is very big if you compare with the figure document so we have to resize this data for the figure preparation purpose here i am going to discuss the major problem that many people face during the data management or figure management using the pdf file so if you select all the images in this pdf file and click here on the right side on the layer option and if you just extend the layer option Here you can see clip group and clipping path. So these are the major problem that people face in case of PDF file. Like you cannot select the any segment using the selection tool or direct selection tool due to presence of this clipping mask or clipping group. So how we can remove all these clipping group? And I'm going to show you if you use the command control Y for the outline mode and you can see there are a lot of boxes present. So these are the clipping group that is present in your file you can see here in your data there are a lot of clipping group available so i'm using again control y control zero to fit so to remove the clipping mask select all your file and click here on the object here you can see the clipping mask and to make the clipping mask shortcut is control seven and to release alt control seven if you click here you can see there are changes some clipping mask removed and i'm going to again press ctrl alt 7 now you can see all the clipping group and path now removed and here you can see now you can select the data in your figure now i'm going to show you how you can delete all the clipping mask for this select the direct selection tool here and just drag in the area of your figure and press the delete button now you can see your clipping path is removed from your data in this way you can get the information about the clipping mask that is present after removing the clipping group using shortcut or object and clipping and if you again click the control y you can see your file is clean again using the control y to remove the outline mode the one thing that i want 
to show you for the layer option if you're not able to see the layer option in your document click here on this window here is layer option you can click here you can get the layer option now select your file using the command control a copy control c and paste in your figure document file using the control v command zoom out and i'm going to resize using the press and hold shift and resize from this corner and again i'm going to use control zero to fit in the window here you can see your image will be deformed by doing the resize or transformation so how we can fix this first we have to think why this happened and if you select the direct selection tool and select the image so these are the path and in the illustrator if you transform the path or stroke you cannot transform the stroke in the illustrator so that's why it happened so how we can remove this problem so for this i'm going to undo all the things zoom out so to avoid this problem you can change the preferences setting in this illustrator so if you click here on the edit preferences general in the general here is option stroke and effect if you check this box by default it is unchecked and if you check this so then you can transform your stroke in the illustrator now select your file or data and now transform your file again control zero now you can see your data looks fine so in this way you can manage your pdf file if you have a stroke and you are transforming and your data is deformed so use the edit preferences in the general check this is scale and stroke effect and i suggest you after this make the default click ok and there is another way to do this i'm going to show you so that you can solve your problem very easily I'm going to undo this and the other option is select all your data click here on object in the object here is option expand if you expand the stroke here uncheck the object and fill just check this stroke click ok now your all stroke converted into fill and you can transform your fill so if you select this and resize again control g now you can see you can transform very easily so this is the second way to manage the pdf data and the third way i'm going to show you how you can manage the this problem so select your data click here object path and here is option outline stroke if you click here the same thing happen you can see here your stroke is converted into fill now you can transform very easily so these are the way you can use and manage your pdf file very easily that i wanted to show you and for the text and color scheme i will discuss in a separate tutorial so i'm not going to discuss about the text and color in this file and here i also want to suggest a very important thing if you are preparing figure having the multiple sub figure data so use the layer option here and make a layer for each subgroup like you can rename like pie chart pie chart and if you click here at the bottom plus button this will create a new layer and you can click here to log this this data so that your data is not going to affect if you do further anything in this document so and for the next sub figure use this layer so this will be very helpful for you to manage your data or figure in the illustrator so i'm going to show you how you can import the data from prism file directly so i'm going to prism data for this layer you can just copy using the control a control c 
and you can directly paste the data select the layer and here edit paste you can also use the control v command and here you can see the size is also very big i'm going to transform this here you can see there is similar problem during the resize so i'm going to undo this zoom out i'm going to again click here in the edit preferences general and scale and it stroke effect again i'm going to transform this into zero i'm going to uncheck the scale and stroke transform and here you can see now our data is imported in the illustrator from the graphpad prism so it is very easy to import the data from the graphpad prism the other way you can export the data in the pdf or eps format and then you can import in the illustrator but the copy and paste is very good option so i'm not going to show you with the pdf because i have already show you for the pie chart so i'm going to also log this layer for the prism data again i'm going to click here on plus button to create a new layer in this layer i'm going to use the data from excel so here you can see a data in the excel file so you can just copy and paste the data from the excel as well here so it is very easy to transport the data in the illustrator from the excel and if you do not want to use ctrl c and ctrl v you can also export your excel data if you right click here and here is option save as a picture select your desired folder and here you just click here and here is option scalable vector graphics if you select this this will make you file in the vector format and if you click here save and now i am going to open that file open here is picture one open this file now you can see you can open that file in the illustrator and you can copy and paste in the illustrator very easily into zero so this is very easy to import the data from the excel file and you can also use the control alt 7 to remove all this clipping group and you can edit this image so i'm not going to show you again for the clipping mask here i'm going to log this image as well and again i'm going to create a new layer here i'm going to show you data from the powerpoint so here i have a file and here to export the data in the illustrator from the powerpoint you can export this file as a pdf file option is present here and you can open this pdf file in the illustrator and here you can copy and paste and you can resize your file here so the problem is remain same for the stroke here as well so to remove this you can use the object path outline stroke and now we can resize and so i'm going to change the location of the excel data click here layer 
going to unlock this and now I'm going to click here place here for the pie chart I'm going to place in again I'm going to lock this and like you can also select your data from the layer option as well very easily so I'm going to use control zero to fit so in this way you can import your data from the powerpoint and there are other method to export data if you click here on the file save as the same option you can see here a scalable vector graphics format you can save your data that i have shown you earlier like for the picture one so i'm not going to show you again so the next thing i want to show you the word like table other things if you have in your word document how you can export in your adobe illustrator files for this i'm going to open a new document and i'm going to select the table control c copy and here control v to paste the document in this way you can import the table from the word very easily and if you do not want to use the control c control v you can save the data in the pdf and you can import in your adobe illustrator you can use this so in this tutorial i have shown you that how you can import the data from the pdf and how you can manage the pdf file very easily and also from the graphpad page powerpoint excel and the word as well so i hope this may help you to prepare your figure and rest of the thing i will discuss in my upcoming tutorial and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you